Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's video is Solar Eclipse and Lunar Eclipse. What is Solar Eclipse? A solar eclipse happens when the moon passes in front of the sun and casts a shadow across Earth. It's also known as an occultation. The reason solar eclipses happen is that the distance between the sun and the earth is about 400 times the moon's distance from the sun and the sun's diameter is approximately 400 times larger than the moon's. What this means is that the sun and the moon both have a very similar size when viewed from earth, so when the moon passes in front of the sun, it blocks the light from reaching earth. Types of solar eclipse There are three main types of solar eclipse. Partial solar eclipse, annular solar eclipse, total solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse. During a partial solar eclipse, the moon, the sun and earth don't align in a perfectly straight line, and the moon casts only the outer part of its shadow, the penumbra, on earth. From our perspective, this looks like the moon has taken a bite out of the sun. Annular solar eclipse. Annular solar eclipse. This is when the moon and the sun are both exactly in line but either the moon is further from earth or the earth is closer to the sun. When this happens, the apparent size of the moon is smaller than that of the sun and the sun then appears as a very bright ring, or annulus, surrounding the dark disk of the moon. Total Solar Eclipse A total eclipse happens when the dark silhouette of the moon completely covers the intense bright light of the sun. Only the much fainter solar corona is visible during a total eclipse. Facts about solar eclipses Depending on the geometry of the sun, moon, and earth, there can be between 2 and 5 solar eclipses each year. A total solar eclipse can last a maximum of 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Almost identical eclipses occur after 18 years and 11 days. This period of 223 synodic months is called a saros. What is lunar eclipse? A lunar eclipse can occur only at full moon. A total lunar eclipse can happen only when the sun, earth and moon are perfectly lined up. Anything less than perfection creates a partial lunar eclipse or no eclipse at all. Types of lunar eclipses There are three types of lunar eclipses. Total lunar eclipse Partial lunar eclipse, penumbral lunar eclipse, total lunar eclipse. Earth's full umbral shadow falls on the moon. The moon won't completely disappear, but it will be cast in an eerie darkness that makes it easy to miss if you were not looking for the eclipse. Some sunlight passing through Earth's atmosphere is scattered and refracted, or bent, and refocused on the moon, giving it a dim glow even during totality. If you were standing on the moon, looking back at the sun, you'd see the black disk of earth blocking the entire sun, but you'd also see a ring of reflected light glowing around the edges of earth that's the light that falls on the moon during a total lunar eclipse. Partial Lunar Eclipse Some eclipses are only partial, but even a total lunar eclipse goes through a partial phase on either side of totality. During the partial phase, the sun, earth and moon are not quite perfectly aligned, and earth's shadow appears to take a bite out of the moon. Penumbral Lunar Eclipse Penumbral lunar eclipse is the least interesting type of eclipse, because the moon is in earth's faint outer penumbral shadow. Unless you're a seasoned sky watcher, you likely won't notice the effect, in which the moon is subtly shaded by earth's shadow. The Blood, Red Moon the moon may turn red or coppery colored during the total portion of an eclipse. The red moon is possible because while the moon is in total shadow, some light from the sun passes through Earth's atmosphere and is bent toward the moon. While other colors in the spectrum are blocked and scattered by Earth's atmosphere, red light tends to make it through easier. The effect is to cast all the planet's sunrises and sunsets on the moon. The exact color that the moon appears depends on the amount of dust and clouds in the atmosphere, according to NASA scientists. If there are extra particles in the atmosphere, from say a recent volcanic eruption, the moon will appear a darker shade of red. Thank you for watching the video. 
If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.